Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload artwork of yours onto Artsonia using the iPad and the steps that you need to go through for this. To start, you'll press the little button to turn it on, slide the unlock, and then put in the passcode if you need to. Um, we've discussed the passcode in class. The screen will open up and look something like this, and you're going to find the document scanner. It's a QR scanner. It's right here next to the YouTube channel icon or app. And you're going to click on that. It's going to open up this. And then you'll go over to the photographing area. At the photographing area, I'm going to have a picture like this. It's going to say your grade, and it will say your teacher, your classroom teacher's name, and then the project. And there'll be a QR code that looks like this. You're going to then hold up the iPad and put the QR code right in the middle and what's going to happen is it will zip you right to a page that looks like this. It'll say Art Sonia Classroom Project and it'll have all the names here. What you'll do is you'll look through the list, you'll find your name. I'm going to use um, this one right here, Violet. I'm going to click on that for our entry. It's going to say, do you want to add a new artwork? You're going to click on that orange button. It's going to say, are you really Violet? Yes, that's me, or no, that's not me. You can go back to the screen and change it. I'm going to say yes. Then it's going to say capture image. Okay. I'm going to say take a photo and pop that up. Then you take your artwork and you make sure that, and this is going to be the part that might be a little bit hard to get into the video. You're going to make sure that number one, you've got a light, one of the drop lights that looks like that, focused on your work so it looks nice and even. Then you're going to take the camera, and here it is, we'll see if we can get it. There we go. You want to make sure that when you put this right in front of your artwork, you kind of crop all of the edges out. You don't want to have it like this and have a bunch of back area showing here. You don't want to have it too far up and have a bunch of background showing around it. You want to hold it down so that as you photograph it, there's no background and the image is really nice. You have to make sure you hold it steady with both hands. Then you can use the volume button that's right here on the edge. Or if you feel comfortable, you can click the little camera button on the end as well. So um, I'm going to get it set up again, and then I'm going to click it. Now let's say it, it's OK. That's not bad. I've got a little edge over here, but that, that's close enough. We're going to say use that picture. Okay. Then coming back down here, we're going to say upload image, this green one upload image, oops, got to tap it quicker, upload image, and it's going to say uploading file. It's going to take a second to upload the image, and voila, there it is. All right. Then I can rotate it left or right, and it'll change. So if it's like sideways, obviously rotate it. To crop it, that means you can like zoom in a little bit. You click that one, and you can move your finger this way or that to make it small so it'll only be that much. Or let's say you've got a little bit of the background table right here like I do. I can slide it over and just cut that background out a little bit up here like that. Now that looks really nice. I'm going to say apply. Click on the apply button. That looks really nice. I'm going to press accept the green button. And then I can enter a title. You could skip entering the title, but you might want to enter a title. We'll just call it um, Fun Glue Work. All right, whatever. Just what you can make up whatever title you want as long as it's appropriate. Then press Save. And then you can write an artist statement. If you you can probably not see these in the video, but it says, what's your favorite part of this artwork? What was inspiration? You can choose one of those questions and just type something um, quick. It was fun to smear glue on the paper to uh, attach the um, tissue to the white paper. 
Okay, period, done. If you click the little keyboard down here, and then you press submit to teacher. Now it'll say, it'll be all this orange stuff, it'll say your exhibit is done, you've got your picture, it's uploaded, you say I am finished. Click that, and then you give it to the next person. If you already have a picture, you'll notice that the little dot will show up as orange. If you don't have a picture yet, you're going to be blue. All right. Once you're done, you click done, or you can actually just give it to the next person. And once we're all done, we last person or the teacher can click close session or done. So that is how you photograph an artwork for Artsonia.